indigenous to Ontario. Yeah, those fucking pricks. I'm serious, 147. Those fucking goofs will be out there at the crack of fucking spring. As soon as the fucking, uh, as soon as the ground warms up, those motherfuckers will be out there fucking picking out all the fucking pot plants. He's like, fuck you. And they got these dogs that go around and they sniff it out. Right? So the Ford Ranger goes there automatically. Son of a bitch, you see? Hey, what's up there, Montreal Karen? How are you doing? What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, the, the forest rangers, those son of a cunts. Well, <coughs> we call them the wardens, eh? Because that's what they are up here. They're referred to as wardens. Uh, yeah, that's how Anthony and I, last year, we got caught uh, fishing with our license. Well, it's not that we didn't, we knew our license, we just didn't get around to it. It was like the second week of January, Christmas holidays all over, we just didn't have time. So we wanted to go ice hiding, uh, ice fishing, so we went ice fishing. This is last year. Uh, pictures on my Twitter, by the way. And uh, that's when we went fishing down there. And uh, that's when the warden came up, eh? He just kind of zooming up. And, oh. Anthony seen him first. We just finished fucking smoking a great big pipe. And uh, Anthony says he's going to come here. I said, he, because he, he was doing just about every other hut. He'd go in there and just check. He says he's going to come here. He said, okay. He said, put your shit down there. So he had to throw it down the hole. His weed, his pipe, everything down the hole. Otherwise, we'd be fucked. So we threw everything. And uh, the warden comes up to us. How you doing, boys? Oh, pretty good. What you got? And Anthony says, oh, just one bass. Uh, what's on your line? So he pulls up our line to see, and he's, it's nothing but bait, nothing but minnows, and worms, and shit like that. It's okay. And then he says, you guys got a license? Yeah. Yeah. Guess what? We didn't have a license. We had last year's license, but we didn't renew it. Right, for 2015. For 2016, sorry. And, uh, no, 2014. Yeah, 2014, we didn't renew it. And guess what? The warden fucking gave us a hundred and seventy-five dollar ticket for not having a license. And he says, I'm just going to give one of you the ticket. And you guys can split it. He says, you're lucky I'm not giving you both the ticket and taking your ice hot and taking your car. But you brought it with you. Because apparently in Ontario, they can confiscate all of your fishing gear. They can confiscate your hut and they can take your car. That's proceeds of crime or whatever they call it. They're fucking really strict up here when it comes to hunting and fishing up here. Dead serious, man. They fucking give you a list and if you got the wrong species, okay, even ignorance won't protect you. Because it's your responsibility to know before you start fishing. Ignorance will not even help you, man. They'll fucking give you a $5,000 fine just like that. And they'll take <coughs> and they'll take your fishing gear. Yeah, wardens up here, that's what they're called, game wardens. They're relentless. And especially if you're American... If you're American and you're on Canadian property and you're hunting without a license, you're done. You're done. Your life is done. You'll never be allowed back on Canadian soil. You you won't have your shit. Give you a $50,000 fine. And you know what? Any court in Washington, any court in Montreal, 
any court that's surrounding the Canadian borders in Detroit, Windsor, or whatever, Buffalo, any court that you attempt to fight with them will laugh at you and say, you fucked up because you don't fuck with the Canadian game wardens. Why do you think we're fighting for uh, the North Pole? Who owns the North Pole? Question. Who owns the North Pole? What continent is the North Pole on? It's not its own entity. Exactly, Art Green. Exactly. Exactly. Exactly, Art. You know what's going on. Art Green knows what's going down. Art Green. Russia is trying to take the fucking North Pole away from Canada. And we're fucking fighting. We just got a fucking military base up there. We put a military base at least 18, 18 miles away from the actual North Pole. Right? We just put a military base up there, man. We put a lot of money in that. That's a billion dollar facility. One billion dollar facility up there. And Canada put it up there. Guess what? Canada flag is standing. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Shipping things right right up. Easily. Just you just need icebreakers and you, you can just go you can go the whole wide world to the north. Can you imagine that? You can go anywhere you want. You can have ice jets, you can have whatever you want. It can become a great big tourist destination. Yeah, the Northwest Passage. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, they are art green. And you know what? We're not going to let those commie son of a bitches have our land. That's our land. That's our land, motherfucker. Yeah. Good for you, art green. Good for you. Good for you. I know they're Americans, eh? Hey, art green. You want to talk something educational? The Americans are fighting over that pipeline now, eh? Obama keeps on flip-flopping. The Democrats down there in the States, they keep on flip-flopping. They don't know what the fuck they want. But guess what? China wants our oil. China wants our oil from Alberta. Yeah, well, China owns the United States, you know that, right? But they keep on lending the Americans more and more money, and the Americans keep on taking it. Now China owns whatever whatever China says. America has to follow. Has to follow. They have no choice. China will kill the United States in a war. Mark my words. Mark my words. China would destroy America in a war. My grandmother, my, hear me out, my grandmother always said, beware of the red giant. She knew, even back in the 70s and the 60s, my grandmother says, beware of the red giant. She knew. Oh, of course, China is with us. China's in bed with us, of course. Always. Americans, each and every American in this room right now, I'm going to tell you, beware of the sleeping red giant. Okay? That's why they're always quiet. They're always neutral. But when China speaks, hear me out, when China speaks, the rest of the world listens. Always. And you know what, Art Green, you're a smart man and everything. You will know what I'm saying. When China speaks, the rest of the world listens.